Welcome to Basis 27. We first met Anna when she introduced us to Dr. Rowney Kilda, both of whom live in Soon in southern Norway. Anna is a prominent member of the local community and we join her now, introducing the summer solstice of 2013. 2013 and, and this is uh, a gay couple, Arne and Teppo. They're the warmest people that we know. They always make everybody feel welcome. So this is kitchen talk about uh, energies. We are waking up and we are understanding the connections between uh, politics and social movement structures that doesn't work and um, oppression that actually exists where we weren't aware of it before and when we talk about this the most helpful thing is to understand that we are energy uh, and to understand that uh, uh, if we could realize how energy works we would be greatly helped and it's correct to say that everything is energy i mean for instance people said that the, what the real effect of 9 11 was a war on consciousness yes that and that's what a war on judy would say yes and she's i agree with her that, that what you've just been saying about consciousness and intention and the effect it has on energy and form would mean that no, the direct if war the fear Earth. factor is so strong that it prevents creation, nothing will happen. The fear yeah. will go on and go yeah. on, and that will again like to know itself. So it creates new forms. It, you know, it goes to larger and larger, deeper and deeper into paranoia. So how do we fight that? How do we bring yeah. our consciousness up? How do we have consciousness rising? You have to reconnect inside with yourself, with a higher source. There's nowhere uh, out of there. So how, does, how do you... Yeah, the normal thing is to meditate, you pray, you sing, you, are, you, you do things for others, things that are kind of uh, larger than yourself. Service to others as opposed yes, to service exactly, to yourself. Yes, exactly, yes. Um, and to understand that uh, form is important. But it's the essence that are the source. What that do you tells the essence of the source? The essence, say for instance, this cup is plain, but it's antique. But the thing is, the essence is that it's created to, for somebody to, to, to drink. So this is a, this is a, a vessel or a a holder for, for something that's inside. So this this is in service to the thing inside. Which gives life or sustenance to the person using it. For yeah, them. yeah, for example. And so uh, the, the thing with energy is that now the basis of the energies are changing. That means that on a larger scale, a larger fractal, a larger well, this solar system and our planet, our local solar system, are moving into a field where the the, the smallest uh, components of energy are different, and the the geometry tree that that creates are more advanced more structured more more coherent than where we have been is this what people say that we're rising in a uh, consciousness rising into a more complex energetic form when con consciousness is rising in my mind that means that people are being more conscious 
They don't do things because, oh, it's all, always been done, and it says in the book, and it says in the paper, so it must be true, so let's follow that. But rising consciousness is that you, in fact, care more, you study more, you find out more. So this means that the old religions, by definition, must be collapsing? No, it, no. no, by no means. It means that people will demand greater coherency when they are told something, and somebody you have to kind of be more uh, believable when you say something. So it's more difficult to lie. And, and I mean, the, the sophistication of, uh, of being tricked and, and so it, it's grown immensely by, by technology and things. And uh, So it's more, more difficult for the so-called... It's much more difficult for the dark ones, the dark side, to, to keep doing what they have been doing, because people are asking much more questions. By on the shining, other hand, is that by shining they, light they know what's happening, so they have tuned up too, to the lies and to the, to the necessity of uh, the, the murder, for example, the murdering of people. So, so now it's kind of public. Take the drone, the drone programs they have. They want to uh, be able to make it into law that they are allowed to kill people because they are terrorists or they are against something that nobody wants, which is very difficult to define. They have problems with that. Well, basically, but what they do then, they defend it by secrecy, more secrecy, and then they defend it by um, lies. National they, security is becoming not a case for national security; it's about a case of saving their asses. Yes, yes, yes. But the, the, it's been so for a long time because everything. The, the fact is that before, the, the structure of society has always favored the one on top. So, because you define everything where you are in, a, in the pyramid. The higher you are at the top of the pyramid, the more you're valuable. So the more, the more importance are put to what you say, the more uh, you are valued uh, in social context, in economical context, in every context, political and everything, he health, and... Uh, so this applies to social but revolution? That, yeah, well, you see, we, we jump into my... I don't want this to come up like this, but we can talk about it now, maybe we get something. But uh, the, we are very close to a social revolution. We live in a revolutionary time. And the reason you can see that is because all over the world people are rising up. And the, the defined uh, politically, historically, they, a revolutionary time is when the, the old ruling class cannot go on the way they have. So that creates a situation where both things, fascism can happen and revolution can happen. But the thing that has happened before is that you have had a social revolution and then you have come with a new class of rulers. And this is not going to happen this time because that people know that that is a bad option. And people are changing because of the energies. Okay, Anna. Yes. You have to ask and you have to introduce yourself and ask and I want to know about this and that and the other. Hello Anna, this is, uh, this is Miles, good to see you in Norway. And uh, we'd like to hear about energies and things like that. Could you tell us about that, please? Yeah, the energy is everything. What do you want to know? Well, the basis series has been concentrating on a lot of dark stuff. What I want to concentrate on is good new information, which is going to give people inspiration and light. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> good. <laughs> Everything is energy. So, and uh, that means things that we can see and things that we can't see, it's still energy. And this is a dream. This is a dream that we live in. And the name of the density is... Now, the name of the dream is density, and it belongs to all. Now, what does that mean? That's very woolly terminology. What do, this do you mean by that? This is a sentence I heard in 1992. It 
somebody from the big no nowhere told me this when I was flying home from the Earth Summit in Rio de Janeiro. And it said exactly, you live in the dream. The name of the dream is density and it belongs to all. And remember, memories are stored in the genes. So we live in, in the fold in time space that many people call third D or 3D. And like everywhere else we know in the known and in the big all, everything is energy and one, one thing more is energy and source will. Because all energy must have a charging point, a beginning point. And that is the, a will to move. Is this intention or thought? It thought can be. The index. Yes, it's both. In this, it's a, a charge. It could be an emotional charge, which is more important in, in many ways than a thought. And uh, because it's, it is passion that moves things. It's, and, and that also explains something about us, because we are emotional beings, more than thought beings. So it's not the brain that moves anything, it is the passion, it is the heart. And it's the center of you, which is the So the, connecting the with your heart center. Yes, that's what every, every, we all say now. You once told me, Anna, that you remember coming to the Earth as one of the original source no. beings. No. Well, I remember that. We came in on the ship and somebody on my ship said, because out of the window we saw another round uh, flying ship and, and, the, and one in my ship said, we were a first. And then I heard from the other ship, no, we were a first. So I think there were many people who came at the same time. We know that this was an experiment that was put. So our gene material is our, our gifts from all the planets. So, so everybody feels they have a stake in this. And I think you could say that. This is very important because one of the people I interviewed has a very similar story. Uh, her name was Ava and she was, we interviewed her in Prague. So this seems very similar. It's very mm. interesting. Can you expand more on that? Uh, no, I, I, I can't really. It, who came first? Or, it's not so interesting. The thing is that creation is one. We are one being. We are one with the, the source, the level above us, which is again from the level above us, from, from there again. So this is a... It says in the, the book Law of One that that uh, the universe starts and ends in mystery, and I think that's a good description. But everything is connected, and in order to understand, one has to understand in the sense that the most exciting things, the most interesting things, happens in the vacuum. That's where, that's where the potentialities is. Is that subspace? What what a physicist would call subspace. I don't know. I, I don't below, think so. No. Below what our yes, it, well, it's uh, it's on the micro level, but yeah. it's also on the uh, it's in micro and macro. So, it, because the same thing that happens in the small is happening in the the large perspective. I mean, you mentioned earlier about fractal, the fractal. Yeah, we live in nature. A, that's the nature of our universe, and the one who describes this best is Nassim Haramein. When he, he uh, explains how this universe is holonomic and fractal. And it's always in motion and reality is always being created. And there are two ways of creating. Either through using everything around you in service to self or being in service to everything around you. And people who've come in to help in the ascension process, they are mostly from the service to other uh, thinking or, or working. I, I, I'm sure there are other from this, the other side. And at the ultimate point, they, it does not matter so much because all, all is one. 
and you cannot not be. You never, you were never born, and you never die. You transform, you transcend, and you change form. How does that apply to people who believe they're living in a in a life here and now, uh, as opposed to a holographic matrix? Life, life or, is I mean, living. How, how does that equate? I think people, we need to remind ourselves if that everything around us, alive, live things around us are actually beautiful. And when you sit in, in a garden, in a forest and look around, what all the concepts we have of beauty are there somehow. When you think about the world, is everything is here. There's so much, even though that there are evil doings and there are structures in place that are oppressive and are we are getting rid of, and we are working to get rid of it. The fact is that love is the ruling force of the universe, but love is creating freedom, making things come into themselves. That is the thing, you know, and. Um, you can, you can look at animal behavior, you can look at plant behavior, and it's reflected everywhere. It's a, it's a, it's a universe of plenty. So, and that's all energy. And how did you, how can you, how did things start here? Did you arrive before there was animal life, or was there any life here at all? No. Can you remember? Well, before humankind, this was prepared by higher forces, more developed civilization, for a long time before people came here, and so this is no. The, 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 we, we went through the densities and the intelligence, the living intelligence, the living uh, consciousness have been developing all all along. You must remember, Miles, that the whole planet, the whole, all of this, has been made for one reason only. And that is to help humankind evolve. And the thing that needs to evolve is not the brain, not the thinking, it's the soul. We are soul beings who are, our sign is uh, light and sound. And this, everything here is made so we have the opportunity to grow our soul to the next level. This and is now is the time that this, you know, this is, uh, we are just now, since yesterday actually, when we were officially in the, uh, in full contact with Alicom, when the, the photonic, the crystal energy came in for full. So now for, for light workers, things are open and we can manifest what we want. I believe that we are going into a no time uh, zone where time will eventually will have more and more different uh, character. It will be more like uh, going through a process, processing in, in different ways. And so we will perceive time differently. What's the importance of humanity in this that you mentioned just, just earlier? We are part of Source. We're part of the One. In some aspects, we're not particularly special. In other part, we are divine. How, how can you ask that when you are, are divine? But you mentioned that all of this is yeah. specifically created for humans. Why? Yes. What's the special thing that's so important about us? Well, we we are creators. We are uh, we are God creators. We can we can do this and. So we, we are, have to take responsibility for, for the beings, intelligent, that doesn't, are not on our level, like the animals, and uh, most of the animals, and, and the plants, to, to take care of things and to use our creative ability, which is now going up to the full, fullness. Because what has happened is that our DNA at a certain point in history was meddled with, so it was deconnected in order to keep us more, more docile and to keep, keep us, uh, in a sense, uh, dumbed down. And, uh, 
Can you explore on that, explain that, why or who did that happen? Because at a certain point, some thousand years ago, there was this service to self uh, civilization that came in here and wanted to conquer and wanted to use this as a growth for themselves. And their way of doing things is that they want to control us for, for their own strength, because that, that will make them stronger. How do ordinary people deal with this? How do light workers deal with this? <laughs> you, you light workers, don't you see yourself as one? Yeah, I'm, yes. Well, How do we light workers deal with this? Well, there's no one answer. You have to, you know, you have to analyze and, and use your emotional capacity to, to to, to create uh, oneness or, or create, uh, to, to neutralize it and to, to, to uh, counteract it in a, in a non-conquering uh, way, so to say. But there are, both to, to uh, secure yourself, there are ways to do that. You mean We've, ground, grounding or what? Yeah, grounding is one, and, and protection that's given by the, the, the masters the, and the Elohim. So, so... Is there any way of communicating with the masters? Uh, yeah, many ways now. How, how does it, it's a, how does it like it's, work it's, it's, it's always inside. It's always meditation. Meditation and prayer, everybody has, has to, to do that. If, I mean, if you don't do that, you lose out. It, it's like, it's a good thing and you don't, you're not coming, you know? Why, why wouldn't you do that? Would you recommend any forms of meditation or ones which you feel are better than others? No, I don't know. I have, my method is, sometimes I, I listen, there's so many good ones on YouTube that people have been giving for free and it's, uh, so people are nice people. They, they, so many people have given out uh, good, both music and uh, guided meditations and, and exercises to do and ex share their stories, and, you know. So, and, and to pray, to sit and... And to pray? And, yeah, pray in that sense, not, not like you learn at school, but to evoke and say, I, and, and explain, I want contact. If you, if you, when you want contact, it, you will have it, because they know already that you want. Now, who is they, and how do you That get is all the, the people on different levels that you are in contact with before you came. For example, now, that twin, the, the twin spark, or the twin soul, which is different from, um, from a soulmate or something, the, the, because at a certain level, in order to experience duality, to grow your emotions, to evolve your emotions, the being split in two, so there is always one male and one female, that's one person. And now the merging of the two, or the contacting of the two, not merging, but contacting of the two, are actually happening, which is very, very rare, strange, because that's another one that vibrates on the absolute same frequency as yourself. And that that's, hasn't been seen for a, for a, for a long time. With, with whom? What, what mostly, when you come into this, because this is a gift to come here, you have to have a... Um, certain level of, of evolvement in order to, to come into this uh, dream. And it, you can get lost, and if you have, an, you can get lost in karma. So you do so many things, so you have to take many rounds that you actually don't, didn't plan for. That when means that the rounds. normal thing is that one of the pair are guiding from the home world or the home the home planet or, or the home level. But now, because of this new, the ascension has reached us a level that both can come in and meet. And that's very, very, that hasn't happened on this planet before, on the scale it's happening now. 
And what is the purpose of this? How, how, how the does The purpose, the, pe the people who are doing that, the, the people who come in with a, uh, with a plan to help humanity. Remember, we are now above 7 billion and we are rapidly going to, uh, uh, I've heard the number 11 billion before it flattens out and go back. I'm not sure about this, but uh, it's still increasing in numbers. And because we are one, we want every, every living soul to ascend, even if you are, have been doing crappish things, you know. So we have big plans, no? This is big dreams. Uh, you are, are asking about Carla Reukert. We made an interview with, I made an interview with her some years ago. And she is an angel, she's a living angel. She is uh, the lady, or the angel that brought in the law of one, uh, or the raw material, which are four books. Uh, it's still, it's in print and people can buy them. And if there's anything I urge people to study, it's actually the law of one series. Because that explains the best, the best I've ever seen, the, the most, the, the first law of the universe, which is the law of one. And, uh, and she uh, did this in, from the 70s on. She, they worked for, I think they worked as mediums and, and channeling for 20, maybe 15 years by the time they did this. And, and the quality is so high that they, they couldn't, one person could not bring this in. The, the, the spirits or the entity, they required at least three people to have, to, to, uh, to focus on this in order to do it right. And she was a, a trans, I mean, she was in trance while, while she was doing this. So she, she had to learn it herself after. And the law one states, as I said, everything is one. And that the first distortion of the first or expression, the, the specification of the law, is love. And uh, so if, if people want to uh, familiarize themselves with the energy, how energy works and, and things, this is, and it's easy to read and everything. I have the first one here. Yeah. This, uh, so this has had a great effect on you? Oh, absolutely. And when I read it, it was in 80, 89 or 88 or something. I was, it was like, uh, oh, finally, here it is. Oh, yes, it was fantastic. And, uh, I, I, you know, it's uh, when things are right, uh, it's, it's when synchronicity happens. So it was a friend of mine. He had this kind of this. So I was lucky. So getting back to uh, this concept of two parts of the same person coming together. Can you explain that more? Yeah, well, you're jumping a bit now. But uh, well, you as you wish, the, the concept of, it, it's, it's like the yin and the yang. It's like everything. Everything is, has, the coin has two sides. And that, that is that you, you can look at one side of the coin and the other. And it's one vibration, the coin has one vibration, but they can have two pictures, you know. And it's the same with human beings. So if all of us has uh, another half. But as I said uh, just uh, a minute ago that they, uh, it's, it's not custom for our, our race, the human race, to have both here at the same time. Is this the higher self or the soul or how the is soul is uh, the, the soul is uh, is uh, separated so you have the same soul you share the soul so to say it's a it's a divine concept and is this explained anywhere in detail can people go yes there are several I've seen on the on the internet there are several people who are are assigned to, to work with this uh, concept and, uh, and are, they explain and discuss many aspects of it. 
What about the blue ray? You mentioned that. Yeah, because we are light beings. So you, people are closer to one of the rays than to other rays. So all of us have one race that we work more with than other rays. And what are these rays? They are frequencies. Everything is frequency. So we talk about energy, we talk about frequency. Because at the, at the highest level you are everything and, and uh, you are part of unity in a, in a different way than we experience it. But at this level we work to uh, grow certain aspects of ourselves. And here it, it's emotions. So it's emotional intelligence. And the, the purpose is that we evolve so to share more, to have, be more lovable, to, because that's our intelligence. To, to, to be able to, to recognize and to, to discern and, uh, and to uh, realize and manifest more love. That is the purpose. The key to this seems to be our intention to be able to manifest existence. Yes, yes we, we are creating. We are creating everybody, every one of us, and we cannot do but create. But if we are locked in, in the matrix that we are today, we are kind of in a, it's like in a waiting room. So we are creating, but we are not helping ourselves. We're not, we have been to the benefit of others. And now this is changing, you know. We are talking about energies and in, in our world, even though it's a dream, everything has a form. So this is a book, we know this as a book, this we know as material and you know, we, we recognize a face and we recognize an expression, all these are energies. Yes. And, and right now, in my view, part of what we are struggling with is that we are told that so many energies are not acceptable. They are, they are oppressed, they are deemed out of the picture. They are, they are um, not acceptable uh, to, to uh, the, the matrix that we live by. And that's the important thing that we have to recognize and to work with every one of us. And to understand the forms uh, and to, first to realize and to to recognize that this is a particular form, this is a particular frequency, this is a particular energy. That means that you have to learn to be more uh, in, intuitive. And now women are more intuitive than men most most of the time. They are, you know, uh, but it, it's not it's not an absolute and you have men that are very intuitive and women who doesn't have any intuition whatsoever but um, uh, to uh, to recognize that this is a personal inward learning that is why it's important to meditate and when when you do this then you will learn how to get the answers to the to the things you want to know and now because of the incoming energies to the solar system to the local uh, planetary system of ours it's open it all the energies that come they are of such a high frequency they support the lifting the ascension process that's why it's happening and the, the secrecy, the oppression, they are not favored by the, by the universe right now. That's why you have people demanding answers. That's why you have all the, the whistleblowing, the, the, the truth tellers, the, the opening up of everything. 
that is because the, 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 the energies coming in, they're more streamlined for this, they're more harmonious to open up this because it favors truth, it favors unity in a, in a much higher level than ever before. It's never been, as long as there have been people on this planet, it's never been such a, a, a unity uh, frequency as we have now. And even down to the crystalline structures, the geometrical structures of, of what creates matter is changing. What do you mean by these crystalline structures? Is this three-dimensional world, a matrix? No. What? Density on the subatomic level. You know, the small, the smallest things that actually when the energy comes up to the level, so they create matter. When that happens, they have a certain crystalline structure, geometrical shape. And that uh, crystalline structure is evolving too. So not only are everything in between the molecules, everything between the atoms, everything is tuning up. And that's that's a miracle. Is this but increasing that, the spin rate of the of the of the atoms or or, or what or the electrons, the electron shells? The no, it's the fact that the well could be could not be. That's not the interesting part. But because we are aligned to Alicom, which is the is called the, the the central sun, the the incoming energies that comes through our sun. To, the, to everything here have a different quality. It's a higher quality and it, it contains more information per unit. What does that mean? That means that it will change our DNA, it will reconnect our DNA, which again change our neurological pathways, which again open up for more memory and a different kind of memory. It's kind of a, a soul memory, if you will. Is this responsible for the new children with the, with the different DNA and the telepathic abilities and things like that? The, what they call the new children is, is when the frequency is higher, people with a high quality can survive here. And every the, the universe wants to help us to, to change the way we live. And the plans are that this is going to be a much more quiet planet, an agrarian planet, and where where people come in to to help each other and experience this wonderful place, because it's the density is is of such a character that. You can live fully. It's it's not like in a in a. It, it's total experience to live here, and you come here, and you are born here. You live your whole life here, and then you move on. Is this a utopian concept, like the? No, that's part of the grand plan. That's part of the higher because there's always been a, a plan for this, because on the higher level. All the things that we've been going through and that all the energies are known, whether it's positive or negative. So everything is known. What are the positive energies, what are the negative energies? I explain now. The locking down energies are what we call the negative. Those who are, um, are of the service to self in the sense that it is insensitive to others. It's always it's only sensitive to self. And Does that make so that makes you can make what you have stronger, but you cannot have a larger understanding. You you will not grow your understanding through the from other people's standpoint, so from other other views, other emotions. Only you, you kind of focus a, in on one, and then you want this uh, very, very strong kind of, or, or you want to evolve this, transcend this by only focus on, on this one thing. And uh, is there any way around those particular kind of beings or people? No, 
No, oh, the people, but I'm talking about the energies now. Yeah. And the, and the energies is on one is kind of abstract level, but the, the same goes for people. That's that's how they live. You know. The positive energies are the one who's opening up, the one who's always seeing the larger picture, and all to to realize that things are there is in a sense setting things free. So the positive is to to liberate through recognizing and to accepting. And so all the the new teachings now they talk about you know. To do this, you forgive what there was, you forgive and, and put it behind you, and you, you are here right now, and, uh, and, 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 uh, and live by receiving. And, and then you create, uh, because when you receive, you are creative, you are by nature creative. But I can tell you this, that what is happening thanks to the new energies is that the duality that each one have felt because of a split between the, the person you are outside and how you feel and think inside that's kind of merging that's kind of getting closer and every one of us at some point have to face ourselves and see that we are what we are inside and that what are presented outside is very often a false image that that we have to make in order to to fit into the situation to fit into either the the persona you think you want to be or the persona that, that you have to create in order to please others what is your essence is a growing thing is a changing thing and it's it's to find out more about who you are, that's the most, uh, most important thing we can do. I, I, again, I, I think it's so fascinating to think about how the, the, the abilities that we have now to find out so much more about ourselves at the same time that our actual abilities are growing. The, the best thing to, to, to... people are questioning now and in, in that respect, so when you have a crisis and you really have to let go of the, the, the persona that you portray as a successful this and that or being on top of in the rat race, the, this, when, when this, this uh, you can come through this, that's, that's, the biggie, that's the biggest thing there is because then you start working on the real you. How do they do that? No, there's so many ways, but to, to find out that to be, to, to, to hold a little you inside, say that you are five years old, to really, or, or the baby, or, or, and to, to be that one. That's my ambition, to, to be five years again, five years old, and to see the world with a, like a kid five years old, and you know, you want to come along and you want to, to you ask, questions again and why can't I come and why can't I do this I to me that's uh, that's the best way actually that's that's who I want to be to, ex to have the child mind of yeah exploring. yeah ex and to explore and to to play around to joke around you know to to uh, to be direct and uh, expect but also to uh, yeah, to be curious and to to, to see the wonders that are, to see how the, the frog, frogs live and if I find out, the, you know, that, that's, that's the good bit. The effects of the 2012 transition. I think when it comes to 2012, I think it's a, a little bit important that we recognize that we are a bit late, we are a bit after the, the schedule, so to say. Because there has been fighting over this planet, there have been, the, uh, you know, on on uh, several levels, fight over the uh, the who's going to dominate the development of this planet, and it's it's uh, it, it's the, the the negative force. They have been shrewder and and uh, 
uh, well, false, stronger than one, fa- one thought. False ascension, that's the worst thing. That, that, that's what we've been warned yeah, about. There's no such thing, either there is, or, or ascension is ascension, you can't... Well, the argument is that, that these dark forces, or the military black ops, or yeah. the industrial military complex, or yeah, whatever you want to call it, that's they difficult. are seeking to generate a false ascension into How a false I, higher it, it, realm. You, you can't really do that. Well, that's what they claim. Yeah, they, it's, it's, you, it's you been likened. Put, ascension is not a show for the eyes. It's like it's been it's been likened as having a fish tank in the universe. Instead of going into the whole wide universe with ascension, you end up in this fish tank. Yeah. Which is a relatively speaking a much smaller control thing that where they would like to draw souls like pied pipers off a cliff. Yeah, well, it doesn't tell me anything. I don't. It doesn't relate to anything about what I feel and, and know. I'm, I'm, so there's, this there's there's group on this planet who wants all kind of horrible stuff. You know, they want they want to make us all into cyborgs. They they crazy ideas about this. And you can you can drown yourself in these things, and you can believe in them, and you can fight them. But that's not actually doing anything, changing anything. It's good when these things are exposed that there are such groups so you can discuss it in public, you know, uh, what kind of world we want. But as it comes to the to the level of uh, with the energy level I'm talking about now, it is not that difficult to recognize it and to say that this is not what we want. This is a closing down. This is a... This is uh, a dehumanizing. The whole purpose, you mustn't forget this, the whole purpose from the Elohim, from the highest level, is for the soul to grow, to evolve. And there are, there are higher sources from all the planets. They, they formed uh, an alliance to help us. So the Pleiadians are active and the Andromedans are active and there are uh, from the Acturians, they are from the central sun. They're from um, also groups from Orion, uh, Orion that are up in Everland. So, the, uh, so I, not one second do I question this. And also, I, I, I do tend to uh, disagree and argue with people when they say that, oh no, everything is, uh, it's, this is so dark and there is always black. And I don't believe in anything, but it's a choice. To, for me, the the thing that we need to do is to learn about source again, or what people call God, in a new way. We need a new understanding of the living nature of God, so to say, and and that is something I work with. The, the new scientists, the young scientists, they are reflecting this. They want to do this. They're, they're smart and they're nice. And they... You're talking about bringing consciousness and humanity into science. Well, it, it, bringing, it, it's, uh, it, it's always been there. I mean, there was in the, the 60s, way that, the, the, the tower physics. The, the way that we've been living, that we have all these pyramidical structures that's been in place. You know, we see the eye on top. The way that we are taught to think is that you find your place in the pyramid. And so everything is judged according to their place in the pyramid. And that's their value. The further down the list, the value, and the higher up, the vice versa. But that, that's a pulse, that's a poor image, what there is. And the young scientists coming in now, they, they, they know this. And they, they come in to help us with this. So many of them. And, um, but they they fight the the the, the current paradigm, and uh, so you have to look for them. But they are out there, so many of them. How would you want to summarize this, or what's your what's yeah? Well, your what I want to say is uh, that we need to uh, understand more who we are. We have to learn much more who we are in terms of. Uh, our role in the universe and our being one humankind and the nature of reality, all these things. So I've said for, uh, for several years that, that we are, at some level, we are going to make these centers for peaceful coexistence where we're going to teach this. I know that people are actually starting this and doing this. and. Uh, 
that's that's uh, the next level in some some ways. So I think this year things will manifest in a new way. I hope they will. If it if it's not this year, then it's next year because there's no way out that this the structures we live by now. It's in it's built in logic that they have to come down because they are closing down by themselves. They 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 cannot go above a certain level. It's coming up to to learn about the oneness, the unity of the universe, to learn who we are, and to learn about energies, and to learn about getting rid of the facade, but seeing your essence. That is the thing now. We love each other. The human, the nature, the natural way for us as human beings is to love each other, and, uh, and, and not, you know, in all ways there is. Well, thank you very much, Anna. I'm grateful. Norway. This has been a pleasure.